Hey everyone, okay. Probably the best foundation in the world, part one. I did this on my second channel, but I wanted everyone else to see it because oftentimes when we talk of foundations, we talk of high-end products or drugstore products. We don't talk about products that are not quite so mainstream, that are just utterly wonderful. And I'm going to be mentioning um, this one in part two, two of my favorite foundations. Um, I'm gonna show you them in palette format. Understand that they also come in um, single ref uh, single, you know, single little containers as well, or in big palettes. The one that I'm gonna be showcasing for you is one that I have used since I began filming YouTube videos. I began filming with um, MAC Full Coverage Foundation and RCMA um, Cream Foundation, and this is what I will be spotlighting today, which is the RCMA palette. They have, I think, like 10 palettes like these, each containing 16 shades, or you can get them all separately. These are absolutely wonderful. They contain 50% pigment. Consider that your foundation that you're using at the moment from the high street or a high end will contain between 11 and 20% pigment maximum. These contain 50% pigment. What that means is you will need to use a lot less of them. They are highly pigmented so they will cover problem skin beautifully. They are entirely natural. They have no nasties in them whatsoever at all. Zero, nothing, nada. And the best thing is they come in the most amazing range of colors. Now this color palette is quite beige pink. All this section here and even this third section. This section, RJ2, is such a wonderful color if you've got a tan. In case you're wondering, I have, this is what I've got on at the moment. You notice the, the kind of sheen that it has on the skin. I haven't powdered it. You can powder it and it will become matte. I suggest powdering this section of the face and leaving the rest powder free to keep the glowing skin. Then there's the Shinto range here, which has this much more olive yellow base to them. There are loads of different shades. They are so creamy, so blendable, so beautiful. There is nothing to say negative about them. And I must add that while these are my palettes, the company themselves, RCMA, are some of the loveliest people I have ever dealt with, ever. To say lovely is an understatement. They are beyond lovely. They are wonderful people. And I'm gonna show you the kind of coverage that you can get from these in an upcoming tutorial with Lisa, which I've used on her skin. You'll see the perfection that it can. And I'll kind of go in because people think that, you know, can I use them if I'm working on film, photography? Yes, you can, you absolutely can. This is what they look like um, on my skin anyway. Um, remember, there's nothing powdered here at the moment, so you can still see the skin through it, but at the same time, it provides coverage and it can provide full 100% coverage because of the pigment levels are so high. I cannot stress enough how wonderful this company is. I'm not paid or receiving any form of monetary benefit from this, but small companies like this that deserve to have a much bigger following because they produce such amazing products that most other companies do not produce because of their levels of pigment, um, it's really worth going to have a look at. Um, I absolutely recommend it. Information in the description bar, of course. Feel free to share my videos. People ask, do you mind if I post it here? Do you mind if I do that? Feel free, whatever you want, it's no worries at all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon, bye-bye.